If only it was that easy, right? I've always found edge highlights and tiny details really tricky. In this video though, I want to show off a product that for me has turned that completely upside down. This is an acrylic marker. Last video we talked about golden high flow acrylics, which the marketing said could be used in marker pens. And that got me thinking, why not colour in my minis? Now, in my mind, I could just colour in my minis instead of painting them, inventing a whole new painting craze. Yeah, not so much. I tried and tried, but the marks I bought were just way too large. I couldn't get into the details, I couldn't control the flow of the paint. All in all, one star. Do not recommend. So after boldly stating in the last video, I'm going to colour in a Spartan tank, I chickened out. And I airbrushed it instead. But wait, because along the way, I discovered something awesome. Now, I've already said the biggest issue I had with markers was the size. So, I ordered some fine acrylic paint markers. These ones. And while I'm not going to use them for whole models, they have been absolutely incredible at very specific things. Let me show you. On the Spartan tank, there are 769 rivets. I know. I counted. Now normally, that number of rivets would either get ignored, or make me want to kill myself by the time I'd finished doing it. But this time, out comes the silver paint pen. Ah! Revelation. This was so easy. Now, at this point, I got cocky. Feeling brave, I went in for more, but forgot one crucial factor. I can't draw. So when I attempted the Blood Dangers logo on the side doors, it looks like this. Ah oh well, I'll have to repaint that and carry on. But next up came something I was pretty sure would work, edge highlighting. If you're still watching, you likely don't mind helping me out by liking this video and maybe dropping a comment down below. It helps to let YouTube know that this video is a good one. Thanks. Because the Spartan is all hard lines, it's perfect for edge highlighting. But the same rules apply when you're using paint pens as when you're using a brush, i.e it's easier to use the side. But the big advantage is paint pens are hard and therefore it's much easier to get consistent, crispy edge highlights with a paint pen, as I'll show you right now. So take your pen, hold it at about 45 degrees and then simply run it along that hard edge. It's that easy. Sometimes you might need a couple of passes and that's fine. Just simply repeat until you get the finish that you want. Honestly, I was absolutely blown away by how easy this was. And because it was easy, it made it loads more fun. I was dreading painting this vehicle, but by the end of the paint job, I was absolutely thrilled to bits with it. And that's what it's all about. Finding a method and a tool that works for you, that enables you to have fun. It's just paint on plastic. It's supposed to be fun. If you have soft edges to your model and don't have hard edges, you can just use it like a normal pen. So just draw in your highlights carefully. It's a little bit trickier, but it still works. Just a quick note about colour choice here, I almost never highlight with white. For a convincing highlight on red, you just want to take that red paint up in value just a touch. That means increase its brightness just a touch. For red, that means you can either go down the pink route, or you can go down the orange route. For me, I can't stand pink highlights, so I went orange. Seriously though, this experience has really hammered home to me. A couple of points I've talked about a few times on the channel. Number one, sometimes experiments give amazing results. So therefore, you should experiment in all things. It doesn't always work, but if I hadn't tried these pens, I would have never found this method. Experimenting is cool. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't use your tried and trusted methods. At the end of the day, you do you. I'm just saying that it's worth pushing the boundaries just a little bit, because sometimes you discover something better. Number two, doing is the best way to learn. I'm not the only person who says this, and it's definitely true. Practice makes perfect. The more you do something, the better you'll get at it. And actually the best way to learn is not to watch YouTube videos like this one, ironically. It's actually just to pick up a brush or a pen and just crack on and try. Yeah, it's not always gonna work, 
but you'll learn almost as much from failing at stuff as you will do from succeeding at stuff. So just try it. What's the worst that can happen? You'll have to repaint it. It's also worth saying that the first attempt usually fails. So if you fail on the first attempt, don't beat yourself up about it. Just pick yourself up, dust yourself off and crack on. So my next step was to try the pens to paint details. Now in some areas they worked really well, colouring in little green panels, little lenses, with the little specular highlights, that's the little white dot in the corner. In some areas though, less good. For example, colouring in the lights that have the weird grill over the top of them, you just can't control the pen in the same way you can with a brush. So some good, some bad, but mostly it sped the process up for me. So that's a good thing. I chose green because it really pops against the red, but I also wanted to break up the surface, so I coloured in some black panels too. Same process, just really simple to achieve. I also used the black pen to do some recess shading. Now I've talked about recess shading before and my preferred method is to use oil paints. That hasn't changed. The pens did give a decent result but they gave very very thick lines which I then had to go and touch up with another colour and honestly it's just much faster to use either a proper panel liner or some oil paints to properly recess shade. So there you have it, one Spartan tank. Now if you liked that video, I think you're probably going to like this next one too. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.